Good morning, everybody. Uh, well, for whenever you're watching this, I hope you're having a good day. I've had a terrible week, but I'm on the water and I'm gonna go try and catch some fish. So obviously, if you're seeing this, I got some fish. Okay, so it's getting hot out this year. Uh, it's about 79 degrees surface temps. I'm gonna do a simple jig and a, probably a short worm or maybe a whole uh, red worm. And I'm gonna cast it around on this deep brake line right now. It's early in the morning, but with the water being so hot, they're either gonna be feeding up by a shore, or not shore, but like the surface like suspended or they'll be down towards the bottom of a brake line um i'm basically fishing for anything it'll bite right now until i corner something um you know me if you're, you've been around if you're subscribed uh i i target big gills a lot and uh early morning walleye and uh, afternoon walleye tend to be a fun thing for me too so we'll see how things go otherwise we're just chasing a bite today so let's get it There's a bite. Fingers. Okay, so I got that, uh, I was using that j just a plain jig casting and uh, I was getting some good little uh, bites that felt like bluegills so I'm gonna throw out my slip bobber and uh, see if I can peg some of those bigger ones down Got that one right. Little nibbles, though. Got it. <laughs> A gill. Yellow bass. Pretty big one too. Here's the deal. I'll let you go, but if I catch another one, I'm gonna start keeping you guys. Okay, so I can't dial them in on the slip over yet, so I'm gonna bust out the trusty drop shot. It's pretty simple. It makes it easy for me to keep it at a consistent distance from the bottom, which this one's almost uh, probably 16 inches. But it just works better because when you stay in contact with the bottom, then you can tell where you're at. Um, on like brake lines, it's really hard to follow a brake line with your slip bobber unless you're, you know, exactly over the top of it. You don't want to do that. So this should work. We'll see. Uh, actually. I just found something feeding on the surface over here. I'm gonna see what it is. 
I have a specific casting bob rod just for this. There you go. I think I just hooked up with my first big one today. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only downside was the camera was off for the hook set because I cast it out and he hit it on the drop. That is a thick gill. Getting a little bleached out in this dirty water though. That's a good one. Alright, back you go. Sorry about the bump. They're down there. <laughs> that was funny. See if we can get it done on this little chunk. I think these fish are actually waiting for birds to drop food. That felt like a good one. So I'm using a little chunk of uh, red worm left. Nose hook it, see if we can do it. Oh, cleared me off. I still find it amazing how effective just drop shot fishing actually is for all species of fish. Well that's why they're biting like that. It's a yellow bass. I don't know if I want to clean these guys today. I mean, they're really easy to clean, but I just don't know if I want to. We'll see if I change my mind. Another one hit right on the bottom. Another yellow. Yep. I mean, they're fun to catch. <laughs> Be cool if these guys made it to like five pounds. Then it'd be really entertaining to catch. We'll see if we get a couple more big ones like the first one. We caught up a couple of them today. Oh, 
I had one chasing it. Yeah, see those yellow bass will follow you right up to the boat. It's like a white bass. Except they taste even better. <laughs> Very tempting. See, instead of eating bluegills, you can just eat a bunch of these guys and uh, call it a day. If you know how to clean them right, they don't taste any different. One big tip, make sure you get them on ice right away. Okay, I just had one follow this up to the surface here. And I, I seen them, so I'm gonna throw my uh, what you gonna call it? I'm gonna throw my jig rod, and see if I can get them without any bait. See, those things are so aggressive that uh, I might be able to just stick them with this this tube rod. That's cool. Let's see if they'll play. Dice on the tube rod. Oh. Well, something broke me off there. <laughs> Time tying a new drop shot. That's why I have the drag set loose too. This is a brand new six pound line. Oh yeah. Okay, so I got these old drop shot worms. Basically just nose hook it. I threaded on them but uh, these used to work really good everywhere, so I forgot I had these and they should probably be used before they go bad. I got them in my little plastic binder thingy that I made. This thing's old too. But yeah, uh, kept it off and I'm thinking it might have been a walleye or something and I just set the hook too hard, so we'll see. So thread it on just like that. We'll see how it works. This water dirty, so might need live bait just to get them to come to it. That's a little white bass. <laughs> Explains why they were liking it ripped. Little baby white. Those guys like it very erratic. I don't know what that is. That feels bigger. It's another yellow bass. And if I wanted a clean fish today. It's gonna be a yellow bass smash today. Go away. Actually, I don't mind catching those. Oh, that's why.
That's a pretty good perch. Now, am I going to school them? If I'm out of school them, this should work. Let's try it again. I get them before I'm leaving I'll keep some that's like 15 20 of these already <laughs> I think I'm back on the school of them yep I should get my counter out. So they're liking this pendulum thing. Cast it out as soon as the bait hits the water, you close your bail, keep a tight line. I think they're following it down and then hitting it. bigger Is that a yellow yeah they are fun to catch especially when you get into a couple hundred of them all right so two times not necessarily pattern but if we can do it three times it's a pattern so this is what I'm doing. Cast out, as soon as it hits, shut this finger on here, let it swing down until it hits bottom. And there, just hit bottom. I'm just kind of working it a little bit. See if I get any bites. Oh, yeah, there's something down there. Thing is, is that kind of feels like the perch bite. It's really hard to tell. You gotta have just a little bit of slack in your line. There we go. <laughs> Short leash. That's a big yellow. Jeez. That's a tank for a yellow bass. These guys don't really get that big. Getting into white bass territory. I'm gonna get a release on this guy. Pretty big fish.
Shield Rakers are sharp on these guys. Okay, now that I kind of got them pegged down, I'm going to try that drop shot worm again to see if I can get away with using plastics instead of just uh, going through my live bait right away. They're hitting it. Yep. These guys are full like horses. Yep. Plastics work. This guy got himself snagged in the bottom, but beats rebaiting it. And these guys are pretty tough. Not to mention I have a bunch of them. Smacking it. I think they're just grabbing the tail of it now. My question is, are they just hitting that little bead now? <laughs> It'd be entertaining if they did. He ate the rest of the plastic. <laughs> Poop down me. Okay, as you can see, I'm all covered up. It's getting really hot out here. Um, I'm debating on staying and filming a different video. Um, I did get a couple of big bluegills that you guys didn't see yet because the GoPro was off. Um, so I might stay and do that. Obviously, I would take all this off, but it's kind of a chore to put it back on. Uh, we'll just go incognito for now. But that was a cool white bass day, or white bass. Those were yellow bass. Sorry, got to correct myself. Those were yellow bass. Uh, I found a school of them. And what was working the best, actually, which is kind of funny, because normally with yellow bass, you're casting at them, kind of like white bass, um, was a drop shot technique. And I'm thinking I'll go over that for this uh, Tackle Tip Tuesday. So stay tuned for those videos. I try to do Tackle Tip Tuesday every Tuesday this summer. Uh, so obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, please just remember to... Mm -hmm.